Um, Michael, I'd like to ask you, what are the most important factors, success factors for breakthrough innovation? I think what it is is to give the people who work on it independence, give them space, give them budget and freedom and let them just have faith and trust and let them get on with it and have the minimum of controls and systems and procedures. Um, let them just do it. <laughs> and what are the most uh, difficult challenges in actually bringing breakthrough innovation to the marketplace? I think what it is, is really, it's the whole systems as we know it. It's the, the traditional funding methods, maybe you know, people want business cases to see and the figures and to justify it endlessly, whereas there's so many solutions out there to solve a whole, all our world challenges at the moment, make it even a sustainable planet. But these people, generally the ideas are with inventors. Um, even though all the ideas are there, they can't get help, they can't get funding, they can't get support. Um, and that's what we need to change. We need to change the systems to allow these people and just prove the concept. You don't need the full business case and company startups, etc. Just prove the concept, say engineering wise, and then the rest should speak for itself. Why doesn't there seem to be much radical innovation? I think in. We need it really urgently. Um, if you look in the alternatives, future energies, I believe there hasn't been anything significant on the innovation side in the last decade, two decades, even three decades. When I ask people, tell me what, maybe PV, photovoltaics come down in price. But apart from that, nothing significant. And I think we're becoming complacent that we think innovation is going to get us out of, you know, our, and solve our energy challenges and what we're facing as a planet in the sustainability side. But the solutions just even though they're there, we're not developing them and we need radical solutions and we need them urgently.